Alright guys, Mark Sharp with the Knife Market here. And I was just going to update you guys on what's been going on. And what, why I haven't been making videos for a while. So anyhow, my wife, she is pregnant with our third child. Our two boys were born early, they were born premature, so um, my oldest, he's two now, my youngest, he's going to be one come in August, they're 14 months apart, and now my wife, she is supposed to be due again this August, but they're keeping her down in Omaha, which is an hour and 45 minutes with me driving, um, an hour, two hours with my wife driving. So it's a good piece of way. Um, the doctors want to keep her close by to Omaha where there are better facilities, better hospital for her to be at and the baby. In case she does deliver early. So I go down when I can to Omaha. And she won't be able to go home until she delivers or until she's 36 weeks. And she is 34 weeks, 4 days. This Sunday she'll be 35 weeks, pretty much. So she's got to get through till Sunday. And then get through another week and then she can come home and deliver at our regular hospital. That's when they can take them. And the baby should be fine and won't have to be worried about being in the NICU like our two boys did. So, she's been in Omaha for about a month now. Staying close by just in case she ever delivers early. And that leaves me here to take care of my two boys and try to work. My original job is farming. So being a self-employed farmer gives me a little more leeway. But I still got to try to keep things up on the farm. Which have not been getting done like I want to. So been trying to keep up with that. Take care of the boys. Try to get our finances in order. Going back and forth to Omaha, having false labor, and going down thinking that she's going to have the baby and that she doesn't, and so, which is good and all with the, in general. So, that's what I've been doing. Um, I just was going to update you guys on all that. And I don't want to get in too deep with that because... I tried to make this video before and it ended up going into about 50 minutes and I'm not going to do that. I'll save that for another time. You know, my channel's originally a knife channel, so. So. Talk about preemies and talk about being a single dad because that's what it's almost like with me here. Being a single dad. <laughs> taking care of my two boys. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. So, if I can help some dads out there that are struggling, that are single dads or dads that are split up or whatever... You know, it's not easy. I I know it. I've been there. I'm I'm here now. I mean, I haven't split up. You know, it's just that my wife's down in Omaha and I'm here taking care of my two boys. And we ain't got no grandparents to help because my parents live an hour and a half away and her parents work. So we really don't have a whole lot of help here. So it's me, my uncle, who's 73, and 
me and my uncle. So, just split them up when I try to take care of them and do my work and whatnot. So, anyhow, that's what I'm doing. I'll make a longer video talking about stuff. Probably when the baby's here and whatnot. Explaining more about everything and whatnot. So, let's get to the task on hand. What I've been putting off doing all this stuff. The Tac Extreme knife. So, I mentioned about maybe batoning with this, but I don't think I'm going to baton with it with where the tang is right there, what we found out before. So, I don't think I'm going to baton with this. I think what I am going to do instead, because I still, we got to still see how good this can hold up to the handle. So, what are we going to do instead is, I'm going to take this, little trees, about like that, bigger trees too, branches, trees. We're going to use this like a little mini axe, and we're going to cut some of these trees down. And we're going to see how good this edge holds up and whatnot. So I'm going to try that and see, we're going to see how good this edge holds up to trees. I thought about doing some cutting tests with cardboard, but I wasn't, I didn't want to waste cardboard. I didn't want to waste my time on that because I ain't got the time to do that, obviously, with everything going on. And I didn't want to spend hours going through cardboard, but what I can do trees around here grow like freaking weeds so get rid of some of these little trees that are growing out here here at the house out at the farm we'll just come down with this that'll get rid of the edge faster than any cardboard so we'll just see how the edge does on the do an edge test with wood because that's that's what I do. I work on a farm. I don't have an office job. I'm not going to be cutting boxes up, cardboard. That's what this channel is all going to be about. Getting out there and using your knives. I'm not going to review Chris Reed's knives. I'm not even going to touch those. And I'm going to hit the Super Steels and talk about those. I know I've talked about them in the beginning, but I want to talk about those again. And I'll be for another video because I want to keep this short. So, about Super Steels and Soft Steels. I'll get to that in a different video. So, back to task on hand. So that's what we're going to do with this. And we're going to see how the edge keeps up. And then I did the video about the electric sharpener. And this is the couple, I got a, another one, but of these, uh, two set. And this is the edge, edge maker with rods. And they're just like pull through sharpeners I know that gets a lot of slack but I am not that great of a sharpener and this already has my edge set and I can sharpen these it's idiot proof and I'm an idiot <laughs> okay I'm an idiot so all you gotta do let's put them in there Pull through. It's that easy. We'll go over these. I'll, I'm sure I'll do all this and we'll sharpen it up and we'll cut paper with it. If she cuts right now. Yeah. She's sharp. Uh, 
and what's happening there is I still see here I still got those couple chips in it let's see right there if you can see that get my see that chip right there right there and right there and there so I'm working on the again those chips out I know there's other ways to do it but I'm gonna do it but other than that it it does cut so I'm gonna doll it I want to go through some trees, see how well that edge holds up, and we'll do that there. A couple more tack streams that we're going to touch base on. This big guy, machete. I got three, four tack extreme machetes, and I use these as glorified corn knives. Chopping weeds and stuff like that out at the farm. And trees. Look at how bent that is. What I did. That's from heading up alongside gates and posts. That's not from trees. I'm heading up along gates and posts and getting weeds and him hit a metal and bend in that rocks. So I want to show you these and forget those cheap corn knives that you get at the hardware store. Get something like this. That'll last you a lot longer than those things. A lot sturdier. I did the paracord. And it just had a nylon. I didn't do it that great. So, and although this isn't full tang, this is. This is one solid piece of metal. So, these I do like. They're worth it. These are very good. Another tech stream that we're going to look at in the months to come is this little guy right here. 3CR13, yes, 3CR13. But that's for another video that I might make after this. So we're going to go over this. I like this knife. It's got really good ergos. I like the drop point blade. I just like this a lot. It is assisted, but look at this action. So, we're going to go over this. We're going to take it apart, clean it up too, tying down the scales because the scales are a little loose with the liner. We'll see if we can fix that. Maybe get some Loctite and whatnot. I've been watching a lot of Nick Shabez disassembly videos. So we'll take this apart and clean her up. I'll do a video on that. I'm going to look and see if I can get these again. Cut every corner and whatnot. I got a few on hand, I think, but I want to do some research and see if I can get these yet, so keep an eye out on my eBay, which I haven't been keeping up on with everything that's been going on with the wife being gone, so I'll try to keep up with that as much as, as good as I can. Be... A lot of frost cutlery knives on there, a few M Techs. I'm wanting to hit the frost cutlery knives first 
and whatnot, and then get into MTEX. And then, as I get into it, I might get into some Kershaws. Another 8CR, 3CR, 13s, all that. We're just, if you're curious about 3CR 13, 8CR 13, OS 8, maybe I might get into D2. I don't know. But if you want to get into some of those cheaper budget steals, this is going to be the channel for you. Because I'm not touching M390. Well, I want to talk about that also. That and the line steel thing and the love them knives thing and super steel Steve. What they're all talking about. I want to talk about that too. Because even though I never mess with M390, I got a little opinion on that also. Why I don't get into those super steels. Why I don't get into M390. Why I don't get into S30V. Things like that is why I don't get into it. And that, but that's going to be next video. That I'll probably make after this. So, anyhow, like, subscribe. I will get more videos out. I promise. We're going to go through these. We're going to use them, abuse them. We're to go through this. Use it, abuse it. Dull it, sharpen it. See how fast it dulls, see how fast it sharpens. All that. We'll do all that. Let me know in the comments if you want this. If you want to see the full video. Me doing a half hour of beating it up and then a half hour sharpening it. You want to watch a whole hour of video. Or if you just want me to put a few clips of me beating up, me sharpening it. And stuff like that. Because... I can't swap these knives out. You can see, I got the paint chipping off off this and all that. But I won't be swapping out knives. I have no straps. I cannot strop. I cannot use what what stones. I don't have a KME. Uh, electric sharpeners and these sharpeners are all I got. So you know that. All this is going to be all I'm going to be sharpening with. But let me know. Do you want to watch me sharpen for a half hour? 45 minutes with these? Again, a nice razor edge. Do you want to watch a 45 minute? Or do you want to do a few... Me show you how I do it. A few clips of it for a few minutes pause the video I go through it get it done show you the end result which would you rather want you want to see the full 45 minutes or you want a 15 20 minute video of me getting them all and sharpening them so let me know in the comments how long you want these videos and I'll just wait and see if any of you guys put any comments in and if not then I'll just try to do what I do and if you guys say I think what I might do is just show you a few clips and just do it so I keep these short for you guys because I don't think you guys want to watch an hour worth and I'm, right now, I'm almost getting to 20 minutes on this with just me rambling. So, anyhow, I want to try to keep this at 20 minutes. It'll go over 20 minutes. But, let me know what you want. And I'm just going to try to... What I think I'll do is just I'll go do a few clips and show you a few things and then go back and show you 
how I sharpen it, pause it, sharpen it the rest of the way, and then show you the end result. Because what I'm telling you is going to be the truth. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to swap out, swap out knives for a new one. I'm not going to say I sharpen with this. And then if I can't get it sharp with this, I end up going to electric sharpener and I use an electric sharpener, I will tell you. My dad is a preacher and I am an honest person. So I am not going to try and lie to you about stuff. I will not lie to you about this knife. If it is shit, I will tell you it's shit. This knife is shit. It's a fixed blade that you only can use as a folder because it's got a tang that's right there that is just got this little button thing snapped into it. And it's just a plastic handle. You cannot beat this knife up. You only can use it as a folder. Because the tang is no bigger than a tang on a folder. Yes, I will still probably try to sell these. Because they do look interesting. But you're not going to do it. And I will tell you that. I am going to be as honest as I can be with these videos. And yes, I'm going to try and make this into a little small off business thing. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. That's not me. So. Anyhow, I'm going to end this video. Keep an eye on this. And keep an eye out for my Super Steel video and why I prefer the Super Soft Steels instead of the Super Steels. That's it for now. So don't forget, like, subscribe, and just check everything out. The Knife Market on eBay. Keep an eye out for my videos here on YouTube. I am going to keep up with them. Just things are getting crazy with me watching my two boys and my wife gone. And things are going to be crazy when they get back to. But hopefully once wife has a kid, our girl, that things will try to, we'll try to get to somewhat normal. Anyhow, like, subscribe, check out my eBay, username, The Knife Market, and I will see you guys later. See ya.